Hello. My name is The Identical Tentacle. Welcome to Vintage Key Studio. Now, in the last week, after watching the brand new Peter Jackson documentary of all the edited Beatles footage, The Beatles Get Back, I had a bit of a... I fe- well, I fell off my chair when I was watching it. When I bought this Hammond organ, this M102, it was an M100, but the model number is a 102. I bought this organ from a man in the north of England back about 10 years ago and he told me that it came from Apple Studio because he was in charge of clearing it out when it all shut down. I was watching the the Get Back film part three about halfway through and the Beatles are are sitting around in the Apple Studio with Billy Preston the organist and piano player who they got in for that those sessions and they're just sort of talking and all of a sudden a great big M102 gets wheeled in on its end and I thought hang on a minute Because I had never actually seen a photograph or any sort of documented evidence that there was actually an M102 in the studio. I knew that there was a a Lowry, I think it's a DSO-1, like the one we've got here. It's not the one we've got here, but like one. So I wondered about this man up north who told me about this one. And I'm thinking, well, maybe it was, uh, if it did come from Apple, maybe it was sort of put in in the sort of early 70s. So to see see an M102 being wheeled in made me think, oh... And then I had a, a, a sort of a bit of a close look at it, and I tried to look closely at all the frames of the film that I could sort of pause. And the um, problem is the film was done on 16 millimeter, so it was originally quite grainy, and now it's been uh, enhanced digitally, and it's kind of been made to look all lovely and cinematic. I can't tell what's what they've done to it. Also, back then, the organ would have been fairly new, maybe a year, year and a bit old. My one here is... Well, it's 1967 this was made, so the date certainly works. And I couldn't really tell any discerning features from the film, looking at various bits of the casing and the woodwork on here. Yeah, I couldn't tell because the one on the film just looks, looks brand new. So although I've got no written proof, I've got a strong suspicion that this is very likely the organ that was used on the song Let It Be, played by Billy Preston on there. And he played a bit, you can sort of hear, just before the guitar solo, you can hear it more on the single version on the album version. It's the same tape they use for both versions. They were just different mixes. But it sounds kind of like this. So he's, he's holding on to a, uh, a chord underneath, with his, which has got um, vibrato on, and it's going through the Leslie. <coughs> and, uh, yeah. and then over the top of that, he plays um, this sort of the, the descending bit. So, um, so it goes... Etc. <clears throat> and then I think at s- some point he cancels out the vibrato. <laughs> and then it's, uh, later on in the song he's sort of... <laughs> And uh, that's about it, really. So although I'm not stating this is definitely the organ, there's a pretty bloody good chance that it might be. And I would like to think it is. So... There you go. Bit of interest, a bit of excitement. Finally, if there's anybody out there who happens to have perhaps a copy of the original Apple Studios inventory, which might have a serial number on, that'd be useful. We could have a look and then prove it either way then. Otherwise... Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for a special Christmas flavoured video coming up hopefully next week. Good night. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Press the subscribe button if you would like to be updated on when we do another video. We've had a few people asking uh, how they could support the studio and what we're doing here. So we've now set up a Patreon page which will enable you, if you so wish, to donate just a one pound a month if you'd like to donate please go to patreon.com forward slash vintage key studio
was just a man who spoke his mind.